Hello all, thanks for tuning in to Appointed Life Podcast, where you are encouraged and inspired to live life God's way by applying His Word. My name is Ernie, and I am so glad that you are listening. So today I want to begin a short series on the promises of God. And to start it off, I want to talk about God's faithfulness. The Word of God declares His faithfulness from Genesis to Revelation. And one scripture that sticks out to me is Deuteronomy 7 verse 9. And it states, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keeps his commandments to a thousand generations. God is a God of promises and he is a God of covenant. And he is faithful to fulfill those things that he has spoken over your life. God's faithfulness is evident throughout the Bible, as I mentioned earlier, and it is also evident in your life. God's faithfulness was shown in the life of Noah and his family when he preserved them from the flood. God's faithfulness was shown when he decreed a blessing upon Abraham and was faithful to fulfill that promise, multiplying his seed that could not be counted. God's faithfulness is evident when he sent his son Jesus Christ to die on a cross for us so that we may have eternal life. God is faithful unto us. Even though we may not see it, especially with everything that happened this year, from the shutdown to the protests to the riot to everything else in between, God is still faithful. The fact that you have the breath of life in your lungs shows his faithfulness, that you're able to wake up each and every single morning and take a deep breath. That is God's faithfulness, to be able to see his beautiful creation, to be able to work, to be able to eat. That is God's faithfulness in your your life. Now, a lot of us may have viewed this year as the worst year ever, and some of us may have confessed it to even be the worst year of your life. If you were some of those, then I'm calling you to repent and ask for God's forgiveness. I know we say these things out of emotion and how we feel, but it is important for us to remember that God is the author of the universe. He is the author of creation, and he holds the whole world in his hand, and he is also holding you. He is faithful. He will never stray away from his promises. Though this year may not have appeared favorable for the things that you have set out to accomplish, God is still faithful. I'm reminded of a story in Genesis. It starts in Genesis 37, then picks back up in chapter 39. And that is the story of Joseph. See, Joseph was one of the 12 sons of Jacob. God began to show him visions and dreams of his future, that he would be in a position of power and authority. But then Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers because they were jealous of him. Now, Joseph being sold to slavery did not match or align to the things that God was showing him. But because of God's faithfulness, the same nation that he was a slave of, he became second in command. He was appointed to the highest office of the land. When God shows us something, when he promises us something, he will come through on his side. Yes, you may go through storms in your life. Yes, you may face circumstances. There's going to be obstacles that you will have to overcome. God is still faithful to fulfill those promises. Many times what we see as God being unfaithful is us lacking faith that he is going to fulfill those things that he has spoken. In 2 Timothy 2 verse 13, it says, If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. See, God is faithful. That's who he is. Now, some of you may say, well, God promised me this and he promised me that and I don't see it happening. I completely understand where you're coming from. But let me pose this question. Is God's promises not being made manifest because he is not true to his word? Or is it because we got distracted? So just as it says in Numbers 23, verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie or a son of man that he should change his mind. He is not going to change his mind about you. He is not going to change his mind about the things that he has promised you. We might change our mind and go back on our word, but God does not. He always keeps his promises. If we do an honest assessment of our attitudes and actions of this year, Did you get distracted? Did you let fear cloud your mind and lead your life? 
We may have given up on things prematurely that was tied to the promises of God being made manifest. But because of God's faithfulness, it is not too late for you to pick that back up. It is not too late for you to allow God to lead and direct your life. You have to reflect, repent, and seek God for direction. As it says in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 to 23, His steadfast love never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Listen, I need you to trust God is working it out for your good. Lean on him and on his word. Psalm 33 verse 4 declares, For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. So I'm calling you to trust the promises of God. For his promises are yes and amen. For God is faithful. Thank you for listening to Appointed Life. And I pray that you have a blessed day.